Well, as you've seen, everything from our hot monitors to our thermostat are run by Central Computer. It is impressive. I just feel bad about letting down Marion Hill. Oh, don't ever go there, T-Rod. Now, it was your responsibility to save money for your men. And besides, the union did name you Stuart. Yeah, you're right. But my name's not Stuart. <laughs> uh, let me show you the rest of the place, huh? That was close. Okay, hold this. All right, I connect this clip to this keyboard. Override a few passwords. Perfect. They won't be able to straighten out this mess for weeks. Oh, I'm proud of you, Marion. All right, don't make me start second guessing myself, okay? Okay, come on, let's get out of here. All right, come on. Max, you putting in a virus? No, he's got doom too. Come on. <laughs> much trouble as I am. I started out okay at the library, mm -hmm. but man, you put one CD inside the boom box and everybody starts tripping. <laughs> well, I had a little luck at the video store. They didn't have Moby Dick, but I got the next best thing, Free Willy. <laughs> you guys, our papers are due tomorrow. We are sunk. I wish Marion was here. He would know what to do. Why? We all know what he would say. Hard work's the only answer. In life, there are no shortcuts. Quit sucking up all my trail mix. Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> no, but Marion does have a good point. What? I don't need all his trail mix. I just pick out the cashews. <laughs> no, I'm talking about working together. Yeah. If we do our own work but teach each other what we know, we can have our papers done by morning. Well, I guess I solved the problem then. Now, you know that's messed up trying to get credit for Marion's idea like that. <laughs> oh, this is a happening party you guys threw for us. Almost makes you want to light yourself on fire and hurl yourself through a plate glass window. Well, we're excited to have you as clients. Not plate glass window excited, but we're glad you chose us over Goldwire. Goldwire's place was a nightmare. The scale told me I had to lose 180 pounds, only 170. I just don't have that kind of discipline. What's the matter, Marion? Look a little down. Yeah. Well, you know what? Why don't you two just go enjoy yourselves at the party? Will do. You know, these stuntmen are getting younger and younger. No, no, no. Th those are some kids that Marion invited. Can any of them take a punch? <laughs> Come on, Marion. Smile a little. How can I? One by deceit, trickery, and lies. Ah, that's just a little residual morality. It'll pass. In the meantime, this will be our little secret. My whole life I've been honest. Come on, this way everybody wins. We get the money, the kids get the help, and the stuntmen won't get burnt by gold wire. But where's our honor? At the bank cashing T-Rod big fat retainer check. <laughs> Hello, Goldwire. Came by to see how the successful clinic is doing? Drop it, Stanton. You sabotaged my computers and you know it. No, we didn't. And you can't prove it because whoever did it was smart enough to wear gloves. <laughs> you might have won the battle, but you're gonna lose the war. Oh, by the way, T-Rod, I think you should know what kind of people you're dealing with. Those three ruined my computer system just so they could get your account. Now, you don't have to believe me. Ask them. You know where to find me. Marion, I know you're an honest man. I want you to look me square in the eye and tell me the truth. Not a good eye. <laughs> I did it. It was my idea. I take full responsibility. Is that it? That's it. No, it's not. Tell him the rest. It's no excuse, Max. Yes, it was Marion's idea, but he only did it so we could afford to help these kids out. So doesn't that make a difference? I mean, do we still get your business? I'm gonna have to think on this one. Stella, get the aspirin. <laughs> that was a cool speech, Max. Yeah, well, Marion's so modest, he would tell him the truth without telling him the rest of the story. Well, I'm just looking out for myself. Yeah, nice try, Max, but I think I'm finally rubbing off on you a little bit. There's no need insulting me. Look, the important thing is we did the right thing. 
Yeah, and you know, just because we lost the stuntmen doesn't mean we're going to lose the kids. Yeah, there's other clients and we can hustle for more business. Maybe we can even take pay cuts. Would you stop rubbing off on me? <laughs> well, you see, we can take the high road and still win. All right, you have the account. Yeah! yeah. Right. Thank I you. respect Thanks, I love kids. And I can't think anymore because there was only one aspirin left. <laughs> hey, yo, Mary, the new kids think the clinic is the bomb. Well, Tyler, I want you to meet T-Rod Jones. He's a Hollywood stuntman. Hey, you a shack on fire. <laughs> Hey, Max, I like seeing the kind of gentler side of you. If you can change, maybe go where I can change too. I can rehabilitate him. <laughs> I can rehabilitate him all night long. <laughs> there he is, hey. the man of the hour. Oh, you heard I snagged that stuntman account, huh? No, no. We don't hear nothing about that. Uh -uh. But we came by here just to thank you for helping us get our papers done. Help? All I said was see you. Marion, you're so modest. <laughs> if you say so. So everything turned out okay, huh? Yes, three papers, three classes, all in great shape. Yeah, we had to run our English professor's car off the road, but them <laughs> papers got there on time, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I learned a lot by doing my own work. And for the record, Moby Dick borrowed heavily from Free Willy. <laughs> Well, you make sure you stay in college. 